Hi guys, today I'm here doing something a bit different. I'm going to be doing a tutorial today for you how to download or how to get and use Bandicam to record your screen like I'm doing now. You can see here. Um, to get it, you go to the link that I'll post in the description or possibly have on the screen somewhere about here. Um, all you've got to do is go to the link and you'll bring up this page here. Hit download and pick whichever one of these downloads you want. I suggest direct download probably because it will be the easiest as it's coming straight from the thing without having to go through either of those mirror sites. Um, yeah, once you've downloaded it you'll get an installation XE and with that XE all you have to do is run it. I'm assuming you guys already know how to run and install XE. Um, this is for Windows by the way as you can probably tell I'm using Windows not a Mac. Um, yeah, when you've got that down and you've installed Bandicam, you get a little image like this. And if you double-click that, it'll bring up a page that looks like this. It'll have you on, you'll have you'll be on the general tab, and your target will probably be that one there, DirectX OpenGL. I have you set it to rectangle on screen for recording the desktop. If you want to do that, and then you bring this up, which I will make visible for you guys. That you'll get a little thing like this, but it'll probably have a box around it. All you do is hit that thing in the corner there, and that'll say full screen. And then you can set it to full screen recording. Then, if you want to hide it from your videos, you go opacity, right click on it, and go opa opacity, go 20%, and it'll turn just about invisible like that. And then you can just hide it down in the corner somewhere, make it hard to notice. Yeah, anyway. Now, with this tab here, you have general, and that is your general tab. This will tell you pretty much everything. Where you're putting it out and I think yeah, autocomplete recording. That's if you want it to stop at a certain time and what time you want it to stop at. And if you go to video, you'll get hotkeys, that's what starts the recording and stops the recording. And that's if you want to pause the recording part way through what, what how you do that. Um this one here is whether you want your cursor to show up in the recording or not. I have mine set two at the moment because otherwise it's um, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing very well. Um, then over here you've got the format you want it to save as. I've got it just pretty much leave that as your default. Unless you go here and you go presets, you can go. No, you can't. Oh, settings. Sorry and go to size and pick whatever your full screen size is or customize it to your full screen that's what I do that makes the um, everything look good uh, then you go over here in your image tab that will take a screenshot of the screen at that point when you press the button and you can set it to repeat the screen capture every however many seconds so it can take continuous pictures as the quality you want it saved as and what um, format and that's whether you want the cursor to show up in it or not and the about tab is fairly self-explanatory. I'm sure you've all seen these before. It's just about the product, where to re if you want to register your product, homepage, frequently asked questions, all that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, and this thing, Bandicam window, always on top. I untick that. You'll probably have it ticked, because then you can hide it down partly behind that thing, so it's really hard to see. And there's a bunch of advanced options here. I don't really go into that. This is enough for if you want to just record your screen. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and keep a lookout for my next video on how to record a certain area of the screen. I mean, if you want to record a certain area of the screen, you just make the rectangle that comes up with this, that area. And my next video will probably be on how to record Minecraft or a game like Minecraft so that it only records the game and doesn't get any of the desktop in the background if you're playing on a small screen. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, hope it helps, please drop a comment if it helps, hit that like button, favourite, you know.